So while the bird's in the oven, you might as well make the stuffing. Now, this is not the stuffing that you put in the bird because that doesn't work. Like I just told you, it dries out the bird and it's horrible. So we're going to make the stuffing outside the bird and you're going to love it because it's not going to dry out the bird. So here's what you need. About two cups, it's one package of Italian turkey sausage meat. You can use the links or in the meat, it doesn't matter. Two cups of rice, I already showed you how to make that, it's already cooked. Two eggs, two cups or about a cup and a half of chopped celery, the same amount of, of chopped onion, that's about a half of a big onion. Um, if I could grab it, I'd show you. This is parsley, you can use sage, I like parsley. Two tablespoons of grated Parmesan cheese. These are some mushrooms. You're also gonna need a little bit of chicken broth and some white wine. First thing we're gonna do is brown the meat. This pan is already heated up, so that's gonna go right in. Mush it all around. And you're gonna have to come back and check this and mush it and pat it and stir it or whatever until it gets all separated and a lot of the fat renders out and it gets all nice and brown. So we'll come back uh, when that's done. So you'll notice all the water in here. That's because I bought the cheap Jenny O sausage meat in the big round thing. This is terrible. Buy the normal packaged turkey sausage. So you can see the water's all gone, but what you also notice is there's no fat. So uh, that could be a good thing, depending on how you're following your diet, but as far as cooking goes, it's no good, it's won't brown. So I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil to that. And that's gonna help not only brown the meat, but it's gonna help when we cook, add the onions and the celery. So you can see that's brown and nice and sizzling away. Now it's time to add the onion, the celery, You're gonna need a little salt and pepper to help take the, the water out of there. That's about a teaspoon of salt. And here's some pepper. The pepper doesn't take the water out, the salt does. Pepper just adds a little heat. Get that going. Stir it up. And you're just gonna let those vegetables sweat until most of the water comes out. I'll show you what that looks like when we come back. So if you shake this up and you notice you got some really dark stuff going on, things are starting to burn, it means your heat's too high. Just turn it down a little bit. The idea here is you want this to go slow so all the water comes out of the celery and the onion to concentrate the flavor. So this is about the halfway point. You can see the celery and the, and the onions are kind of wilted and sweated out. This is the time to add the mushrooms. Now this is a gourmet mix, they call it at the store. It's got some oyster mushrooms in here, baby bella or criminy mushrooms, regular white mushrooms, shiitakes. You can use regular white mushrooms. It doesn't really matter, it's just whatever you like. But here's a tip, get them already sliced because that way they're already washed and you don't have to mess around with it. So throw that in there, you're gonna stir that around and you're gonna give it a few minutes to get the water out of the mushrooms. Then we're gonna add the white wine and really get it sizzling. So this is about the point where, where I'm gonna put in the white wine. White wine or red wine usually comes down to what you don't like to drink because it ends up in my collection over there on the other side of the stove. This is Pino Grigio. I like to cook with Pino Grigio. It's got the right nice balance of dryness and sweetness, but it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna put in about a cup. And get that going. And you'll see when we come back, it'll be all dried up and ready to go. You can see the white wine is all reduced. It's pretty much all gone. That's what you want. Right now, you're going to take your parsley or sage or whatever herb you want to use. Sprinkle that on top. And then shut off the heat. Move it over to the place where it's not hot. Let it sit there for about 10 minutes to cool off, and then we'll finish it up. This is cooled off now for about 10 minutes. The reason you wanna cool it off is because you're gonna put this egg mixture in there and you don't want the eggs to scramble. So you're just gonna let it you know, cool a little bit. First thing we're gonna add is the two cups of rice. Just get every little bit out, cause you want that. And then right on top of that, you pour up this. And you stir it all up. 
You're going to need a ceramic baking pan to cook this in. I bought this tacky one at uh, TJ Maxx for like three bucks, four bucks, something like that. You're going to want to spray it with some, with some spray so it doesn't stick. This has been all mixed up. That's what that looks like. And you just kind of like pour it all in here. It fits very nicely because it's nice and small. Try to get all of that out. And you just kind of spread it around. Make sure you get it kind of like even. And then that's ready to go in the oven.